हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू गेन इन मिनट्स दिस इज राहुल शर्मा थैंक यू सो मच आपने हमारे पहले दो वीडियो को इतना ज्यादा प्यार दिया और ये तीसरा वीडियो खास मैं उन लोगों के लिए लेके आया हूँ जो या तो ट्रिपल ई इंजीनियरिंग से बिलोंग करते हैं या फिर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग से बिलोंग करते हैं या फिर आई बेंगलोर से अपनी मास्टर्स करना चाहते हैं आज जो हमारे गेस्ट हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा स्पेशल है क्योंकि इन्होंने कंप्लीट किया अपनी मास्टर्स आई बेंगलोर से इन आल्सो ही इज वन ऑफ द टॉप रैंकर ऑफ गेट एग्जाम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन्होंने अपने बी टेक कंप्लीट किया है एमबीएम इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच से सो विदाउट एनी वेट लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो So hello guys, let's start today's video. We have Mantan Sharma boss with us. So Mantan Sharma boss is from MBM Engineering College itself, from Tripoli branch, and he also completed his masters from IISC Bangalore, Artificial Intelligence. So first of all, congratulations, Mantan boss, for all your achievements. Hi, hi, Rahul. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's start with your uh, school life. How's your school life? Up? school life was pretty okay i was an average student so i did my uh, schooling till 10th class from here itself in jodhpur st paul school okay and then i went to kota for my iit je preparation like okay. everyone goes for that <laughs> and yeah. and uh, i did not study much there i <laughs> so i then came here and got into mbm and did yeah. my b from electrical and electronics so boss then how is your college life at mbm college life at mbm was pretty chill uh, <laughs> you don't have to study much you just study 10 days before the exams and everything is fine uh, so best thing about mbm is that you get a lot of time to prepare for any other thing which you want like any other exam you are preparing for any other skill you want to prepare for you have a lot of time in mbm that's mm-hmm. the best thing about mbm maybe you don't study your course course stuff a lot but you get a lot of time to <laughs> study for other things but people don't realize that when they are in college mm-hmm. and i also did not but mm-hmm. i was i had fun in mbm so was uh, like uh, you in which year you start preparation for the gate so i started preparing for gate when i was in my final year i mm-hmm. did prepare for it very well uh, until december but after december due to some personal reasons i left the preparation and then i got into job uh, like i got into campus placement from mbm i got okay. into adani and then i went there for one year i was preparing like very less there so i left my job when there was 6 months time before the gate exam and then okay. i prepared like full full day okay so like this is a very risky step i think or a very courageous step to left your job for gate preparation or any exam preparation yeah so uh, I, so I, i had like a little confidence in myself for at least gate exam because i had prepared for it when i was in my final year Yeah. and i had to leave it due to some reason so i was pretty confident that i can get at least good result not i'm not saying that i can get top 100 or anything but yeah. i was very confident that i can get a good rank and i can get into some psc or good mtech college at least okay uh, so, so that's was, why i left yeah uh, so i think your all india gate rank is 22 from electrical engineering uh, which is pretty good rank uh, for getting a psu and i think in electrical there are enough number of psus also so i think you preferred yeah. iisc over psu yeah why like why iisc <laughs> so this is uh, i was also in very much dilemma when i was uh, i had both the opportunities with me in front yeah. of me uh and i had option of going into either ongc or staying at iisc and continue my masters mm-hmm. and i believe this choice is a very personal one so okay. both the options are i think good mm-hmm. and what do you want to achieve in future or where do you want to like 
the typical thing like where do you see yourself uh, five years down the line where do you want to see yourself basically so i i had worked in core job i was working in adani as a solar engineer but i was pretty sure that i am i am not the kind of person who will be able to survive in a core job for very long yeah so while i was preparing for gate uh, i had a i had it in my back of mind ki uh, i'll never get into psu even if i go into psu i'll work there only for one year or so and then i'll go for my master me but i can understand when people face this situation it's a difficult choice to make because yeah. none of these options are bad so uh, if we talk about tripoli branch you completed your btech from tripoli branch from mba itself so from a guy who is from tripoli it is good mm-hmm. to take electrical or electronics which branch is preferred for gate exam for tripoli student It's, it's a very easy choice to make because in MBM at least there is seventy to eighty percent of the syllabus of Tripoli branch is coming from electrical, and there is only twenty percent which is coming from electronics and communication. So it's a very easy choice to make for Tripoli students. Okay, uh, with respect to MBM, how good is Tripoli branch uh, in the favor of uh, placements or in the like everything academic criteria? so triple e branch is as good as any other core branches like electrical or ec and uh, there is no like great advantage or great disadvantage in taking triple e branch because mm-hmm. it's equal like the opportunities which uh, double e students gets or a uh, ec student gets similar mm-hmm. opportunities a triple e student will also get in terms of yeah. campus placements yeah uh, it is a general trend that there are the jobs in core sector which mm-hmm. comes for the campus placement like the companies which comes for the campus placement for the core sector are very less in general and mm-hmm. this is not jo- not just for mbm it is for any other college also yeah so only that's the issue but that issue is only for the people who are looking for campus placements but there are many people who are looking for like government jobs have the opportunity to take any electrical uh, engineering jobs which are coming now coming to the people who are appearing gate exam with the electrical engineering branch <laughs> what are your tips for those students ha um tips so i i if i always feel that there is no fixed strategy for anyone like yeah. everyone has to find their own strategy everyone has to find their own path uh and people should never look for any strategy in any toppers interview because the strategy which worked for me might not work for you but yeah. there are some ground rules which every topper says in their interview like you have to find those so everyone yeah. mostly says that uh you have to solve more questions you yeah. need to give more number of tests you need to sit like sit and make short notes these yeah. are few things which everyone almost everyone who prepares for gate and gets a good result says so you should always follow the ground rules and not the strategy part like i used to wake up at 4 o'clock i used to study 18 hours these all things are very personal and you can always yeah. mold them according to what you you yeah. are like right like what are the subject preferences according to you for electrical engineering branch if a person from second year starting gate preparation so what do you prefer which subject to prepare first and then okay so uh, i don't think there should be any priority list as such because when you are starting to prepare you should always think that i'll complete all the subjects equally good yeah. uh keeping it aside like if you are talking about just second year students i think a good place to start would be maths and machine for electrical okay. students okay so maths is a subject which is very like has a great like good amount of weightage in gate exam and it's easy to score because the math which comes in gate exam is very easy yeah. uh and you can also start preparing for machines because yeah. it's a slightly difficult subject and mm. also it's very interesting to read also so it you can read uh, and all the concepts of machine like the basics of machines are coming from 12th class how yeah. machines works as coming from 12th class so you can understand machines even if it is not there in your curriculum uh so like uh, coming to iisc bangalore uh iisc bangalore is the dream college for everyone i think aapke liye bhi wo dream college hoga so how is your life at iisc bangalore 
so uh, life at is the bangalore was very tough for me at least uh, because i was coming from a college which did not have any pressure on me ever i just used to prepare for like i was going from mbm college and you know like life at mbm is very chill and you just very prepare easy. for exams and give exams yeah that's it uh, but life at isc is very hectic and like people there are very competitive and almost everyone is topper from their college or at least in uh, like top students from their college so life at isc was tough for me at least for the first year then mm-hmm. after first year i was able to find my way and mm-hmm. i i was able to survive there okay. uh, but first year was very hectic and i was going from a double e background and i yeah. was entering a program which is very heavy in coding so yeah. mtech ai is very heavy in coding like you have to code stuff mm-hmm. and i was not prepared for it mm-hmm. so anyone who is entering such a program should always be prepared i was not so that's something which people should do at least ओके सो लाइक अगर मैं आपसे पूछूं वॉस की इन हंट ऑफ अ जॉब और अ प्लेसमेंट इट इज गुड टू डू एम टेक आई थिंक इट इज सो दिस इज अ मिसकंसेप्शन अमंग्स पीपल दैट एम टेक करना है तो मतलब तुम प्रोफेसर बनना चाहते हो या तुम एकेडमिक्स में जाना चाहते हो व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रू आई थिंक ओके यू इफ यू आर चूजिंग अ ब्रांच लाइक एआई or mm-hmm. if you are choosing a branch like computational data science or if you are choosing a branch like computer science mm-hmm. it is not necessary for you to go into academics i never had aim of going into academics when i was choosing mtech i always i will always knew that i want to get into a good job yeah. so you if you you have to choose your options uh, wisely enough and it is not necessary that you have to go into academics you can always choose mtech to get a good job also Okay, so coming to the placement stats, it's like what are the placement stats of ISC in artificial intelligence only? All right. So the thing is that this time around, because of the pandemic and everything, yeah. the placements I'm I'll honestly tell you were not that great. Like okay. we did not have uh, extraordinary placements as we used to have at least in ISC as we used to our senior batch got really good placements. okay but for us the placements were not that great but in general uh, i i think 95% of our batch has got placed okay uh, and great. the and the jobs are not and the jobs are not bad i i can tell you that like okay. they are not bad jobs and uh, i think average package would be around 18 to 20 lakhs okay that's not so even it's that not bad the, at all yeah <laughs> yeah okay so last time around i think the computer science department in isc had an average package of 28 lpa okay so comparing with that it seems like a little bad but it's uh, compare yeah. it's not it's really not bad yeah and i think if you have a tag of isc bangalore with your name we you don't even think of the placement stats yeah and actually the program which i entered like ai program yeah. so even if you don't get a placement from college itself you can mm-hmm. always apply on linkedin or nokri.com and people apply on other places as well yeah. and you will find jobs and okay. it's very it's not that difficult for you to find a job for because yeah. otherwise if someone is coming from electrical background and that person is looking for jobs on uh, linkedin Yeah. it is very difficult for them to get a job because yeah. now if you see on linkedin you will see like there are 10 jobs coming up for data scientist or applied applied scientist or any yeah. other post so it's okay. not that difficult that's all uh, i think regarding isc and also isc at the dream college for me i and every engineering aspirant who is preparing for gate exam who is preparing for uh, masters so was uh, and a tip for those guys who are preparing for gate in this year yeah so the great tip is that uh, if you are coming from a non cs background yeah and you are preparing for gate you have a great option in isc as mtech ai because they are allowing non cs people also for mtech ai program yeah and you should always i mean it's a good option to take 
it's not only about always PSUs. PSU seems like an immediate gain, mm. but uh, I, uh, MTech AI at ISC is also a very good option to take, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, boss. Uh, like we cleared many misconceptions in this video, like uh, Ford related to Triple E branch, related to uh, options for after gate and related to other things. So this video will be really helpful for those who are preparing for gate, who are willing to do their MTech from ISC and also those uh, who are pursuing the engineering from Triple E branch. So guys, if you have any query related to all these things, do mention in the comments, we will answer your queries in the next video.